Good afternoon folks, Ron Bishop here from Timaru, New Zealand. This is my second video today, the 30th of Monday the 30th of December 2013. And the reason I'm doing this second video is because I've just come back from a funeral. I went to the funeral of Nan Raymond. Nan Raymond is the wife of, of Wynne Raymond, a local solicitor in Timaru. And um, she did some wonderful work uh, in promoting Timaru and beautifying Timaru. She was, a, she was the president of the Beautifying Society and, and she decorated uh, trees. She, she, she uh, was instrumental in getting trees planted in, in the t city of Timaru. She was instrumental in getting some uh, rose baskets or some flower baskets in the town. And she, tied, she, she, she was really keen on making, keeping Timaru beautiful. And she was the instrument, um, the, the driving force behind the Trevor Griffiths Rose Garden. Um, it'll always be remembered by me anyway as the, as the Nan Raymond Rose Garden, not the Trevor Griffiths Rose Garden. Because she was the driving force that, that made it happen. Now... Some years ago, um, I went to see her. She had a garden day. She used to run, she had a beautiful garden in 10 Seeley Street in Timaru. And she often had garden parties and uh, opened the garden up to the public. And you could go along there and make a donation and then give the money to a charity, you see. And this particular day, she had a, uh, uh, a garden party and I went along with my camera and said can I video the uh, the garden and sh she let me do it uh, and this is the end result this is the Etheridge Gardens um, a video I did a video on it uh, not a video a slideshow I took photos I, I've, I've said this before and I'm, I'm saying it again now but anyway as I sat in the church listening to them talk about Nan and her gardens and how, how she, she was always um, trying to pr promote the place, trying to make the place a better place to live, Timaru a better place to live, brighten it up. And I thought, and, and what happened is they sold the property uh, at 10 Seely Street, where the Etheridge Gardens were, um, to a supermarket, you see. And I was a, pretty annoyed at the time when they sold that. Um, because I thought it was, you know, a nice garden and, and it had to go to a supermarket. But when I th was sitting there at the, listening to them talk in the funeral, I thought, well, how do I remember when uh, Nan Raymond? And I remember, I could remember her by the uh, New World supermarket. And I'll just explain this, just a minute. Yes, uh, Nan got me to photograph uh, on the Etheridge Gardens, um, that, that was the last garden party she had, and I photographed the garden, I photographed everything in the garden, everything in the house, the whole house, the inside of the house, the outside of the house, and, uh, and put them on a slideshow, and of course, this is the slideshow. And then a few days later, it was announced in the newspaper that the Etheridge Gardens had been sold to a supermarket. The Raymonds had sold their property to a supermarket for over a million dollars because the, because the supermarket wanted to buy the land to, to expand their supermarket. And I was pretty upset about that at the time. But there's an old saying, all when things look bad as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, Rest of you must, but don't you quit. And, and and something good comes from everything that's bad. So anytime something bad happens, something is good going to come out of it. And I thought, well, if if all the Timaru people, every time, see, in, in, in the supermarket, in the New World supermarket, there's, a, there's a, a section there for flowers, for cut flowers and plants and all that, you see. And, and I thought, well, that's... Every time I go in the supermarket and I go to get a bunch of flowers for my wife, which I do periodically, I'll, I'll get them from Nan's garden in the supermarket, right? Because the supermarket is right 
bang where the Etheridge Gardens were. Her garden that was sold to the supermarket is now inside the New World supermarket, right? So you can go in there and you can buy a bunch of flowers and think, right, I'm getting these flowers from Nan's garden, right? Nan Raymond's garden. And that's a good way to remember her. She'll always be remembered as the person that built the the rose garden down on the, on Caroline Bay. But uh, for me, it's the it's it's the it's the New World Supermarket Garden I'll remember uh, Nan Raymond by. Now Howard Smith is the owner of the Highfield uh, New World Supermarket, and Howard, if you're listening to this video. I want you to do Nan Raymond a favour. We buried her today and I want you to name the garden, name the uh, uh, flower uh, department of your supermarket, call it Nan's Garden. Use it as a marketing tool, put a sign up, this is Nan's Garden. Where all those flowers are, you've got all those cut flowers and everything there, and you've got a good little section there. Call it Nan's Garden, would you? would you? Would you name it after Nan Raymond and call it Nan's Garden? So every time we go into the New World supermarket, we'll buy some flowers from Nan's Garden. Good idea? Why not? Let's do it, eh? Let's do it. Let's call the New World supermarket uh, flower section Nan's Garden. Right? See you later.